What is happening everybody and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project and in this video we are back in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. I think this is episode number 14. All right and if you watched the last video you know that we went down to Lake Travis in Texas. We punched everybody in the face and won the tournament, took the money and came home. Probably bought a new car or something with all that money we won. And we are kicking ass and continuing in the theme of us kicking everybody's ass. Today, we are going to Lake Boulder, New York. And we are going to walk away with a trophy from the New York State Championship. I am confident. I mean, nobody can beat us. We are unstoppable. We are the fishing king. They need to make a heavyweight belt and just write our name on it. Fishing champion. And just give it to us. We can hold up. Put us in a wrestling ring against any of these fishermen. We will kick their ass and slap them in the face with some fish. There are only three events left on this tour. And I have a feeling once we win this tour, we can then qualify for the elite, the elite Bass Pro Tour. And that's our goal here. So sit back and relax. Well, don't relax. Definitely don't relax. Sit, just sit back. And stay on the edge of your seat and sit back at the same time, if that's even possible. And let's let's go out there and kick some ass and catch some damn fish. All right, here's the tackle box that we're going to be starting out with. Of course, we have our spinning rod with the Christy Critter Black and Blue. Man, that is working some magic for us here. And keeping in the line with the Critter Baits, although not really a Critter, we are going back to an old favorite of ours, the Bubble Gum Stick Worm. This thing, I did some practice here at Lake Boulder, and there are some fish that just love to suck down one of these pink worms. I swear to God. Now, we're going to try it in the tournament today, and we'll see. But I have a feeling this worm's going to do us right. And then we got here, we got another bait caster rod with our red crawfish rattle trap. 2.5 inch, and we are all on 14 pound FC Sniper Sunline. Uh, line here and th this is our setup it's going to do us well let's get out there and start fishing and if this is your first time to the channel then welcome and if you've been here before then welcome back and if you are not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel I, I don't know what you're waiting for hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content that's coming out and if you like this video hit that like button if you got something to say leave it in the comments down below you join us here on the water today as the competitors are getting ready for the start of this exciting event. While we wait for the action to begin, let's take a look at the rules for today's tournament. All right, here are the rules. It's the same rules as there always is. We got the best five weight of bass. Total them all up, and that's it. And we got some sponsors here, and we got we to gotta make them happy. We got Sunline, Yum, Missile, Rebel, and Enigma, and they are paying us pretty damn well. So let's go on out there and see if we can't win this tournament. All right, looking at the series rankings, we are in first place. Andrew Upshaw, four points behind us. We're going to make sure we put a hole in his boat or something. Maybe we'll sink him out on the lake so he can't win. I'm just kidding. We wouldn't do that. We do not advocate violence on this channel. Except slapping people with fish, that's all. Oh, round one. Three, two, one, go. All right, first things first, we got to take a look at our map, find out where we are. All right, here's the map, and there are a couple spots that we are going to try. The first one, you go up here, I think it's Bob's Marina. It's the, uh, the far most left point that you can go up top. So we're going to go to that marina and launch out from there. All right, here we are. Where the hell's our boat? Here it is. I like this boat. It's a ducket boat. All right, here we go. Now look take off from the docks and you're going to head right towards this like weird looking island thing out here this is not hard to find by the way and right as you come up to this uh big island out to the left there's a little small group of islands right here to the right and we are going to want to just kind of stop turn around and then come back in this little cove here Come all the way back to these lily pads. Oops, don't run your boat ashore. 
Turn your boat to the side and get out. Okay, turn towards this group of lily pads right in front of you. See them? You got to see them. And then we're going to pull out our pink stick worm. And we're going to throw this worm right at the edge of these lily pads. And that is going to catch us some trophy fish. Now, when I did practicing here, we go, oh, 95% cast strength. But bam. All right, you let that bad boy sink. Put it down to one level one retrieval. And just reel this thing back to the boat. It's that easy. Oh, look at that. Boom. Oh, it's a poor strike. It's a poor strike. But there's a fish on already. First cast. That is a poor strike. Oh, crap. Oh, this is not good. All right. With a poor strike, you got to be careful. Now, this seems like a real big fish because he is not coming in. We're going to lower the drag a little bit. Oh, boy. Come on, fishy, fishy. Come on, fishy. Boy, look, he is just, he's about 40 yards away. And we are trying to reel him in. We've got to be careful here. The one thing you want to notice about this lake is there are multiple species in here. Uh, I have caught walleye, gar, all kinds of crazy fish. Now this one looks like a bass. This one is a bass. It's a bass. You can see it in the water. I saw his shape. Now if you, oh my God, he's jumping. Come on, come on fish. We've got to keep this fish on. Patience is the key here. Oh, this is a big one. He's coming in the boat. Oh my God, look at the size of that fish. I'm telling you, this spot is going to do it. That's a nine pound largemouth bass on the pink bubblegum stick worm. Let's go. All right, look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This stick worm's pulling in some big ones already. First cast. Oh, here we go. 97% cast strength. Here it goes. All right. Like I was saying, let that bad boy sink. Pick up the slack and just real constant slow retrieval. These fish cannot, they can't resist the pink stick worm. So there might be some other species here, like I was saying. And if you see the fish come up out of the water, you notice that it's a uh, longer fish or a different type of fish, different species of fish. Just, just cut the line and recast. In these tournaments, you don't want to catch any other species of fish. We are looking for bass. Now, smallmouth bass do count, so we do want to keep those. But right now, we are just concentrating on finding ourselves big-ass bass. Big-ass bass. I like it. Let me get a t-shirt made. It says, big-ass bass. Now look, if you get bored of sitting here constantly retrieving this thing in, boop, give it a twitch. Boop. Nothing wrong with that. All right, we're about 15 yards from the boat. I'm not sure if this is going to work here. This cast might be a dud, and that's okay. That is going to happen. Oh, my God. But ba bam Oh, that's a good strike. It's not a great strike. It's not a perfect strike. It's just a good strike. But that's okay. Fish on. And that's another bass. That is another bass. Took it about 15 yards from the boat. Come on, fish. Here we go. Oh, he's coming closer to the boat. He's coming closer. He's coming. He is feisty as hell. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Oh, yeah. Now, that's an average fish. I would take that in real life. I'd take that. That's a three pound, eight ounce largemouth bass on the pink bubblegum stick worm. I'd take that all day long. Let's put him in the boat. All right, look, that pink stick worm is doing it for us, and we are four pounds in first place. So let's go ahead and get back in there with this pink stick worm. We're going to cast it right towards the lily pads now. Oh, 97% cast strength. Pew! Baboonk. Oh, we are right there on the edge. Let this bad boy sink. And then when it's, once it's at the bottom, you just start reeling this thing in. Nice and slow. Waiting for those fish to take a hold of it. And right now, you know there's some biggins under there. And they are looking at this worm like, damn. I didn't know worms were pink like that. Looks like a piece of bubble gum. I'd like to eat it. Well, I don't think fish know what bubble gum is. But if they did, that's what they'd be saying. All right, constant slow retrieval. We're about 23 yards out from the boat right now. And just keep reeling this thing in. Look, if you want to give it a twitch, fine. Twitch. Twitch. Ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, about 16 yards from the boat. We've got three fish. Oh, bam! Oh, perfect strike. That's a perfect strike. Fish on. Oh, and this looks like a bass, too. You can tell by the way they're moving and jumping. This guy's a littler one, but he is still feisty. 
Oh, we got to lower our drag a little bit. He's running. He's running. Come on in, fish. Plenty room for you in this boat. You can be with your friends. Oh, boy, he is running. He is running. Come on, fish. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's jumping right in front of the boat. He's jumping. I think he smiled at us. He jumped right in our face. That's pretty aggressive. And he's coming in the boat. Oh, that's a bigger fish right there. That's a beautiful color, largemouth bass. It's a seven pound, three ounce largemouth bass on the pink bubblegum stick worm. Some bitch. Get in the boat. All right, look, we are 10 pounds of fish in front of second place. You know what we're gonna do? Change it up. That's right. We're gonna put on the rattle trap. Let's see if we can rattle these fish, get them to bite. Oh, 92% cast strength. That's not bad. Now, there's a couple options for this one. While you're letting it sink, put it up to a level 2 retrieval and just do a constant retrieval back. It's going to sink down to the bottom, but that's okay. Oh, bam! Fish on right just like that. Fish on. Wow, this rattle trap is doing good. I'm telling you, this is a hot spot for these fish. That, he's jumping. He's jumping. Come on in the boat. All your friends are in here. I'll tell you how nice it is. I mean, it's not a five-star hotel, but look, it'll do. And after the tournament, I'll throw you back in Lake Boulder. I swear to God, it will. I'm not going to eat you. I have never eaten a bass in real life. Hey, look, if you guys have actually eaten bass, caught them, filleted them, leave me, in the, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. What the hell do bass taste like? Oh, he's coming in the boat. Bam, look at that. That's another big-ass fish right there. That is a largemouth bass, six pounds, eight ounce, on the red crawfish rattle trap. The other fishermen need to just pack their shit up and go. There is not even any point for them to continue fishing tonight on Lake Boulder. Wow. The rattle trap, the pink stick worm, whatever it is, we are unstoppable. And bam, that's 100% cast strength. Bam, right out there. Plunk. All right, like I said, let it fall. But you can start retrieving it right when it starts to fall. That's a constant retrieval. And once it hits the bottom, you just keep bringing it back. Level two. Now, there are options. You can change it up. You can do a level one retrieval. You can do a level three retrieval. Bring it back a little bit faster. You can twitch it the whole way back. Do a little stop and go. I mean, change it up. If you're not catching fish, now you're going to catch fish on this spot. But sometimes you're not. So change up your retrieval techniques. All right, that cast was a dud, but don't worry. We're going to get right back out there. We're going to cast this right along the edge of those lily pads. Oh, 100% cast strength. That is awesome. Bam. All right. It's going to start sinking, and we're going to start retrieving. Nice and slow, constant retrieval. Oh, ba bam Another fish on. Perfect strike. Fish on. On the rattle trap. Oh, this one. I'm going to lower the drag. This one is feisty. I'm not even sure this is a bass. Jeez. He is pulling. Look, he's going into lily pads here. Oh, come on now. Oh, this is a big fish. If this is a bass, it is big. I'm not even sure it's a bass. It is pulling me. It's not jumping yet. I can't see it. Oh, he's coming closer. He's coming closer. I still can't see what kind of fish he is. He's going behind a log. Now he's coming right through the log. That's realistic. Well, there he is. There he is. Is that a bass? I can't tell. I'm hiding in the lily pads. Trying to run. Oh, he's coming in the boat. What kind of fish is this? It's a bass. That is a... Looks like a smallmouth bass. A five-pound smallmouth bass on the red crawfish rattle trap. Hey, it counts. We're going to put him in the boat. Wow. 31.5 pounds of fish. We are like 16, 17, 18 pounds. I don't know. I can't add 31 pounds of fish minus 13 pounds of second place. Whatever that difference is, that's how far ahead of second place we are. All right, 17 pounds. I can do math. John Needle in second place. Look, I'm not going to make a joke. Needle dick, needle dick. I'm not going to say that. That's rude. You don't want to say that about somebody. But John Needle Dick is, I mean, John Needle is in second place. And right now he's probably crying. Because he knows there's no way he can catch us. Oh, crap. That's a bad cast. 
That is a bad cast. All right, that cast was a dud. We're going to try and go closer to the shore over here. Let's see if this works. A little crawfish. It's sunset. Here we go. 100% cast strength. Boop. Right on the edge of those lily pads. Pick up the slack. Let it fall to the bottom. Just start reeling real slow. And you're going to see next to the... Uh, the real marker over to the bottom left it says constant slow and what you can do oh my god oh my god a fish bit it oh boy just as i went to twitch it and that is a poor strike oh crap all right here we go it's time to concentrate as we bring in this fish oh he's jumping he is jumping we're gonna bring up the drag a little bit now we're going to lower it. Oh, come on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, he came off. Oh, boo. Well, look, you can't win them all. Sometimes they're going to pop off like that. All right, under five minutes left now. And we are sticking with the black and blue crawl. We're going to put it in the same location. 92% cast strength. Here we go. Let that bad boy fall. And a slow, constant retrieval right back to the boat. We're going to have that crawfish crawling all over all the stuff in there. And these fish can't resist it. And normally when I catch a fish, I have like this theme music that plays as the fish comes in the boat. I'm going to try. I'm going to try different theme music the next time I catch a fish. Here we go. Oh, that's a poor strike. Oh, crap. All right. Tell me if you guys like this theme music better. Oh, it's a poor strike. Here we go. He's coming towards the boat, though. It is, wow, he is wiggling all around. He is feisty as hell. And let's see. He is running. And we've got to bring him into the boat. This fish is requiring some muscle. And we got a lot of muscle here. Oh, here he comes in the boat. Oh, man. That's that's a pretty fish. It's a smallmouth bass, four pounds on the uh, Christy Critter black and blue. Let's put him in the boat, but let's try and catch some more. All right, three minutes left. We're gonna switch back to the bubblegum stick worm. And we are gonna try and catch this on the other edge, right over this way. 92% cast strength. All right, right out along the edge of the lake there and it's sitting in about one foot of water and that's not real good all right that water is way too shallow we're in about one foot of water all right now it's starting to sink a little bit we're going to try this cast again all right let's put this right in the middle of the lily pads what do you say oh 97 percent cast strength that's pretty perfect there we go right in there let that bad boy fall Pick up the slack and just start reeling it back. It's that easy. Oh my god, there's another fish. Bam! Perfect strike. Fish on. Here we go. Oh, he's jumping. This is a nice fish. He is a nice fish. We're going to put that drag up to 25. And we're going to lift the rod tip up as we keep reeling this bad boy in. That looks like another bass. I would love to catch a trophy bass. But this is not it, I can tell. This is kind of a small, smaller bass. Maybe a five pounder. Who knows? Come on, get in the boat. Stop fighting. Son of a bitch. I got a minute left. Oh, here he comes in the boat. All right. There's a smallmouth for you. It's a pretty fish, a bigger fish. It's about four pounds, 13 ounces. I was not far off when I said five pounds. Let's get back in there and see if we can't catch another one. We have got 45 seconds. We can do this. Speed fishing, 95% cast strength. Pew! All right, come on now. Come on, pink bubblegum stick worm. Do your thing. 29 seconds left. This is not looking very good for us to pull in another fish, but we're still 13 pounds of fish over second place. It's Ben Olsen in second place. I don't know what happened to John Needledick, but he, he's not even in the top three anymore. You know what? He probably jumped off his boat and tried to drown himself because he's so sad. That's not nice. He... Let's not talk about that. All right, three, two, one. 
And there it is. We have won the first round with 32 pounds of 10 ounces of fish. Take a look. That is awesome. I mean, our fish, our fish are beautiful. They're prettier than everybody else's. We whooped everybody's ass. And we're ready for round two. We're going to do the same thing. Except I'm going to show you a different spot. All right, round two, same rules. Best weight of five bass. All right, here we go. Round two starts. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's take a look at the map. And I'm going to show you where we're going to, get, going to go next. All right, here we go. We're at the map. You're going to come down to the bottom most boat ramp. I don't even know what this one's called. Maybe the Darby boat ramp or the Derby boat ramp, whatever it is. It's at the bottom. Go there. Hit the button. Let's go. All right, here's what you do. Start the gas and turn right. And we're just going to go this way towards the sun. And if you look on your, on your map on the right, we are going to pass a cove right here. A big, big cove. And the cove is right here. We're going to keep on going. And there's a couple other little coves here to the right, but we're looking at the big rock wall right in front of us. And once we get to this big rock wall, like a cliff here, then we're going to turn right in this little cove. Here we are. There's a big pile of grass in the middle. So you're going to come around the back of the grass and park right next to the grass. Try not to ruin your boat by running up on the land. Now just park here. Get on your boat and turn to the left and look at that. Right back in there. That is a deep pocket cover with lily pads. Of course, we're going to start with the pink bubblegum stickworm. But we're going to throw it right in the back of that. Oh, 97% cast strength. Bam, and we are right in the middle of those lily pad things. About eight and a half feet of water. Now look, you want to let this thing sink. It's going to take a minute to sink. Sometimes the fish will catch it on the sink. All right, now it's at the bottom. And once again, just a slow retrieval back. I mean, you can already see that there are fish moving around in the water. And it's just a slow retrieval. Crap, I had it up on level three. That's not going to do me any good. Oh, bam! Perfect strike. Fish on. Just like that. Oh, my God. This... This feels like a bigger fish. This feels like a bigger fish. We gotta lower the drag on this bad boy. Ooh, this feels like a big fish. Look at him. What's oh, a bass? And he is not coming in quietly. He's putting up a fight. He's resisting. Stop resisting. Stop, stop resisting. I'm gonna get a shirt made. It's gonna have a fish on it. It's gonna say stop resisting. If I had a taser, I'd tase this fish. Actually, that's kind of mean. Hopefully nobody from PETA is watching this video and get mad at me for talking about tasing a fish. I wouldn't do that in real life. Mostly because the fish is wet. And water is a conductor of electricity. And if I tase a wet fish, I might get tased myself. Oh gosh, how long is it going to take to bring this fish in? Gee, I'm in Christmas. Come on now. Get in the damn boat. Oh my god, that's a big fish. Here he comes in the boat. Oh my god, that is a big ass fish. Look at the stripes on his face. It's like a bandit fish. It's a six pound smallmouth bass. Boy, he fought like a 10 pound largemouth. We don't care. We're gonna put him in the boat. All right, right back out there. Same thing, bubblegum stickworm. And we are gonna cast this bad boy right in the middle, just where we were, 100% cast strength. Wow. We are awesome. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Perfect strike. Oh, fish on. That was about 13 yards from the boat and about 12 feet of water. And once again, that's a big fish. He is pulling pretty hard here. Oh, lower the drag. Oh, come on. Don't come off. Don't come off. Pull him in. Oh, come on. Quit fighting, fishy. Quit fighting. Here he goes. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, fishy. Boy, he is, he does not want to come in the boat. He is fighting, he is pulling, he's calling his friends. He's like, hey, this guy's got me. He's got me on his line. Oh my God, God, what is he doing? Oh, here he comes, he's coming in the boat. Let's find out. Oh, that's a nice sized fish right there. 
And once again, the bubblegum stickworm does its thing. It's a six pound, 15 ounce smallmouth bass. Put him in the boat. All right, we have 45 pounds, 11 ounces worth of fish. I mean, it's not even funny anymore. It's kind of sad. Alexandra Prido in second place. Not even close. We're almost 20 pounds of fish ahead. So we're going to switch to the red crawfish rattle trap. See if we can't pull in some bigger fish. All right, once again, cast it right towards that big, thick patch of lily pads. Normally a rattle trap wouldn't fare so well laying on the top here, but this one's going to be all right. Switch up to a level two retrieval. As soon as it starts to sink, just start reeling it back in. And it's going to stay about the middle of the water. Come bam, fish on. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. The rattle trap does it. And wow, this fish is pulling too. This is probably another smallmouth. And they are fighting hard today in this little spot. They do not want to come in my boat. Oh, here he comes in the boat. Oh man, that's a kind of a small large mouth. Let's take a look at him. It's a small mouth. He doesn't have the markings. He's two pounds. Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe we can use this fish to slap the other people in the face with. All right, rattle trap. We're gonna go towards the edge here. Now let's take that little bush as your aiming point. Here we go, 95% cast strength. All right, like I said, level two retrieval. Just let that bad boy sink and just start reeling it in constant retrieval, level two. If you want to give it a couple twitches, fine. Nobody's going to penalize you. Nobody's going to laugh at you. Nobody's going to throw stuff at you. Just twitch it. Bam. Bam. See? It's okay. Nothing bad happens when you twitch it. That's what she said. All right, that cast was a dub, but we're not giving up. We're actually going to turn this way. Just for shits and giggles. Let's see what's over here. Oh, 100% cast strength. Pew. Let's just see what happens. All right, that didn't work. Let's go right back to the lily pads. What the hell? Oh, 97% cast strength. That is pretty good. Now, second place is starting to get a little too close for comfort, if you know what I mean. They're about 13 pounds away from us. We got nine minutes left here. All right, this rattle trap is not working anymore. We are going to go Christy Critter, black and blue. Let's hit it right in the thick of these lily pads. Oh, 100% cast strength. Here it goes. Back to a level one retrieval. Let it fall. And boop, it hit the bottom. Let's bring it on back. All right, eight minutes left, and we are still in first place by about 13 pounds of fish. All right, nothing happened there. Let's try it again, 95% cast strength. And that's it. You just got to keep on keeping on. Don't get discouraged. Just keep trying it. Now, the bite dies down sometimes, and that's when you have to try different techniques. And we are going to do a couple twitches here. We're going to go between a constant slow retrieval and a stop and go. Colton Jennings in second place now, 36 pounds of fish. Still about 12 pounds away, and we are under six minutes here. Oh, bam, perfect strike, fish on, fish on. Took it right before the boat, and he is, he is on. And he is fighting a little bit, but that's all right. Doesn't seem like a huge fish. Oh, he's jumping out of the water. He's having himself a blast right there. All right, lower the drag. Oh, come on. He's coming in the boat. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful fish. I think that's a largie. It's an eight-pound largemouth bass, and that is going to put us over the top for sure. Awesome. Wow, look at that. Under five minutes to go, and nobody's catching us. Nobody's catching us. As a matter of fact, we're going to switch it up to the pink bubblegum. I really want to try and catch a trophy bass back here. I know they're back here. 97% cast strength. Land it right in those lily pads. And you know what other kind of bait might work back here, right on the edge there, is a topwater, maybe a uh, like a buzz bait. Maybe that black booyah buzz bait might, might do pretty good back here. All right, as soon as we bring this cast in, we're going to try and put on the buzz bait. 
It's always fun to experiment, especially when you're in a lead like this. All right, just bringing this thing back to the boat. Constant retrieval, couple twitches every now and then. All right, let's take off this rattle trap. Let's put on the Booyah Black. All right, we are switching it up. Booyah Black buzz bait. let's go. 100% cast rank, two minutes left. Now we're gonna bring this up to a level two retrieval and we're gonna skim this right across the top of the water. Just a constant retrieval here with these buzz baits. And let's see if there's any takers. All right, no takers on that one. That's all right, we keep trying it. 92% cast strength. A minute 30 left. All right, no takers on that one. Try it again. 95% cast strength, one minute left. And we are just experimenting right now on this buzz bait. All right, no takers on that. Let's throw it out this way. See what happens. 97% cast strength, 28 seconds left. Probably not gonna catch another fish here, but we are experimenting with this buzz bait. All right, five, four, three, two, one. And that is it. Round two is done, and we have once again kicked everybody's ass. 24 pounds, 5 ounces of fish on that round, and that is pretty awesome. Wow, 56 pounds, 15 ounces was our total weight of fish. Nobody even came close. We whooped everybody's ass in both rounds real bad. I mean bad. Like, like This is like Mike Tyson beating up on normal everyday people bad. That's how bad we beat everybody. And we remain in first place, and we are growing our points lead over Ben Olsen. We have 300 points. Ben Olsen, 288. And man, we continue to dominate this bass tour. And there it is. The New York State Championship paid us out $50,000. Look, our sponsors paid us out a shitload of money, too. Our net worth is now $665,000, and we have 20,000 followers. Man. Pretty soon, we are gonna be able to buy a really nice house. And there we are, the champion, the Pro Bass Tour. We got a $50,000 check, there's the trophy. I have a feeling we're gonna hold this up. Here we go, hold it up. Here he is, hold it up. Don't drop it, oh my God, don't drop it. Hold it up, we are the champions. Well, wow, we went into Lake Boulder, New York, kicked everybody's ass. And now we're going to have to drive to Wisconsin, to Lake Miller, because next up is the Badger State Championship on Lake Miller. It's going to be one round. It's at night, nighttime fishing. And we are going to do that in the next episode. So stay tuned. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. Subscribe to the damn channel. Do it. And make sure you hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Hey, if you like this video, if you like this series, if you like fishing, if you like grilled cheese, leave a like and a comment down below. If you don't like grilled cheese, let me know what's your favorite grilled food or grilled sandwich. If you don't like grilled sandwiches, how about toast? The best thing to eat on toast. Leave comments. Let's go. And most importantly, I want to thank you for the support and thank you for watching this video. Thanks for watching this series. I'm up over 300 subscribers now and we are working our way to 1,000 subscribers. Pretty exciting. Most importantly, thanks a lot for letting me be a part of your day. I'm going to see you right back here in the next video.